Dr. Sandra Davidson graduated in 1994 with a nursing diploma. And this past August, Sandra was appointed as the University of Calgary's Dean of the Faculty of Nursing. That's just the latest step in a nursing and education career that previously saw her in the role of Associate Dean at the University of Alberta. Our colleagues speak of how impressed they are with her entrepreneurial thoughts and creative innovation. She has revamped curriculum. She served as the Organization Development and Clinical Education Specialist for Cancer Treatment Centers of America, which is based in Arizona. There, she worked with a team to implement and evaluate an innovative, adaptable care delivery model for the inpatient oncology unit. She then moved into her education career that has taken her to both sides of the border. She served in senior positions for some post-secondary institutions down south before making her return to here to Canada. And now, so, now, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome her home. It is Dr. Sandra Davidson, our 2019 recipient of the Career Virtual Award. Thank you for that wonderful introduction, and it is a pleasure indeed to be home in Lethbridge, Alberta. Um, so first of all, thank you, Lethbridge Community College, for this wonderful honor. It, it really, as we were driving in, it feels like coming home. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, you know, it's um, this word virtuoso is a bit intimidating, I have to say. Um, so as I was reflecting on the career and the, and the life journey that brought me here, um, I had to, you know, refer to Merriam-Webster's and kind of get a handle on this. And apparently virtuoso means somebody who's achieved great skill at some endeavor. <laughs> so, okay, uh, I'll say yes, that's, thank you for that, it's wonderful. But, you know, as I was reflecting further on that and more deeply, I think as we, we hear that word virtuoso, it, it can mean um, we, we come to somebody who is naturally gifted or somebody who is uh, just very smart and it must come to them very easily. But you know what, the, the real meaning of virtuoso, I think, and in my own experience and looking at other virtuosos, um, making, it easy, making it look easy is not easy. And there's a lot that goes into that. Um, because by definition, someone with great skill at an endeavor is gonna make it look easy, right? So how do we get there? Well, 25 years ago, and I know graduation is, our so convocation is tomorrow, and I was reflecting on my own journey and where I was 25 years ago today, um, and I would have been finishing my final preceptorship in nursing at the intensive care unit at the Lethbridge Regional Hospital, which is wonderful, which I grew up as a nurse, um, and preparing to, my, to write my nursing licensure exams, which are very intensive multiple choice exams for hours and hours and days and days. And I, I have a confession to make here um, as a virtuous, virtuoso, I guess. Um, and there are at least three people here tonight, Betty, Joanne, and Tina, who can attest to the truth of this and that I'm about to share. I was not at the top of my class at Lethbridge College Nursing Program. In fact, I couldn't even see the top from where I was. I was buried somewhere in the middle, the very average um, um, realm of nursing. Um, and, and because, you know what, I struggled terribly with those multiple choice exams. And my grades reflected this ongoing struggle to discern what was the most right of all the right answers. Right? And um, I'm happy to say, as you alluded to earlier, Paula, at Lethbridge College, I learned how to learn. And that has um, meant the difference for me and my journey. And I would, um, um, you know, that's still great to hear that that's happening and that's what Lethbridge College is all about. So how is it that I'm standing here before you tonight? And as I reflect on the past 25 years and being a qualitative researcher and what we do is look for meaning and experience, this is what I've come up with. There are patterns, patterns that have shaped my life's journey. So the first one, determination, resilience, and grit really just never giving up, um, failing forward, learning to deal with rejection, failure, and adversity in all its forms. And I have to say, Mom, thank you for helping me develop a growth mindset before we knew that, what that was. Um, and for reminding me, as Dory says, whatever happens, just keep swimming. Um, theme number two, insatiable curiosity, lifelong learning, tinkering, and taking risks. 
Nothing is ever perfect the first time, and it takes tinkering and continuous learning to refine that and get it right. And that nothing great ever comes from playing it safe. And so, my husband Jimmy, thank you for being my co-pilot and greatest champion on so many adventures and risks. Um, so some of the popular ones are, hey, let's move to Phoenix, <laughs> where we don't know a soul, but it's a great adventure. Or saying, you know what, honey, just start your master's degree. I don't know how we're going to pay for it, but we'll figure it out. Thank you. And number three, celebrate those that light the way and encourage, and encourage your heart. And then in honor of them, pay it forward. So, there are so many people here tonight that I've had the privilege to learn with and learn amongst throughout my career. And there's a whole table of them back there. Anyway. Um, so thanks for all of, the, of you that have illuminated the path, my path, um, professionally, and to the many other tables of friends that are here that have supported me in, and our family in ways big and small. Thank you. And as for encouraging the heart, well, Denise and Rich, you have brought a whole new depth of meaning to that word, heart. Thank you very much for all your support. And thank you to everyone. Thank you to Leverage College for this wonderful honor. It's, it's just tremendous. Thank you.